Hi guys, it's Tuesday. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about pasties, about um, different types and how they're made and application and that kind of thing because a lot of you have been wondering about that. <clears throat> um, so let's talk about types of pasties. So this pair right here are from Hustler Hollywood, who we adore. Um, and their fabric, if you can see, they have a tassel attached. And um, their, the backing on it is already tacky, as you can see. Um, these are great and easy, quick little go-tos. Um, if you're really doing some serious spinning on stage, these are probably, they're, they're great for spinning, obviously, and twirling, but um, you'll want more adhesive on the back of them um, than they come with. Um, so there's several different types of pasties. Um, that's a fabric base. These are um, these are holiday one that are really ancient. They're probably like six years old. Um, these are actually a sequin base. The back of it is usually buckram 90% of the time. And then this is just a strand of sequins that's glued from the outside in. And this one happens to have a little jingle bell bow on it because we use it for the holiday shows on occasion. Um, the most common ones that we tend to use on stage are um, stones, crystals, same backing, buckram backing on it, if you can see that, and then um, just stones glued from the, again, from the outside in so you've got a nice clean border on it. Um, this is a variation on that which is like what we call a nude illusion pasty. So the back is still buckram and there is Russian netting over top of it. So it's a, it's a really pretty look on stage. It looks very nude versus a very solid pasty. Um, application. There's a lot of different ways to apply your pasties. The one that we find is the most useful is not um, adhes like liquid adhesive. A lot of performers use um, liquid latex or glue, like a body glue. Um, but then when you go to, or even eyelash glue in a pinch, in a really bad pinch, you can use eyelash glue. Um, but then the back of your pasties get all sticky and kind of gross and nasty after a few applications. So what we find um, with Sin City Burlesque is that we use tape. Um, this is a double-sided carpet tape. Um, we use this, sometimes some of the girls use it for pasties. Um, I don't. Uh, I do use this for C-string. Um, it's it's molds to the body really, really well, and it, it adheres really well. What I use for pasties is um, Lace Effects. It's toupee tape. And um, I like the A-curve. There's different styles to it. Um, and let me show you how this looks. So this is an A-curve adhesive. So what I do is I cut the strip in half lengthwise first. And then I cut that, so I've got two sections, and then I cut that into thirds. So I have these little tiny pieces, and I have six pieces of those. And I usually use three of these per pasty. Um, that means I can get a set of pasties out of one strip of this, so they can last for a long time. And then I usually just pull the backing off. I usually pull the um, white backing off. There's a white side and there's a blue side. The blue side's a little easier to get off. So um, when we're doing quick changes backstage, um, it's easier to pull the blue off than it is the white. So I, before the shows and when I'm setting up, we call the preloading our pasties, um, I peel the white backing off. And then those just apply along the outside. Um, if I'm doing any twirling at all on stage, then I'll usually put a strip across the dead center too, unfortunately. Um, and then just leave them like that with the backing on, the other side backing on, until they're ready to be applied. Because people are spraying hairspray and other stuff backstage, spray glitter, that kind of thing. And if you pull the backing off too soon and anything gets, you know, touches down on that, they won't stick very well. Um, and then when you're done at the end of the evening, when you pull the pasties off, you just pull the tape off the back and you've got a nice clean back on these. Um, application. Something you learn as a burlesque performer very early on is that you can cheat <laughs> your breasts look on stage based on um, placement of your pasty. So part of it is starting underneath the nipple, cupping it, and pulling up to apply. 
here's the other thing is sometimes we place them a little higher we cheat them um, and then any coverage you're missing underneath you can fill in with um, concealer so it makes your nipples look a little higher breasts look a little perkier um, so that's a little secret that nobody tells you but I'm cluing you guys in because I love you so much so there's everything you need to know about pasty application and such have a good one